guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about Yoglo. This is the brand new first ever skincare product from Huda Beauty. The second I saw this, I feel like every video starts with this. The second I saw this, I had to have it. I like the quality that I get with Huda and I also like the creativity. So I was just excited to try this. Also, originally when she was talking about this, I totally thought this was a peeling gel. It's similar to that, but it's not a peeling gel. A little bit different than a peeling gel. Comes in a 3.4 ounce plastic bottle, so you can travel with this. What this is, this is an exfoliator. It's an enzyme scrub. It's a very gentle, mechanical and chemical exfoliator. So it's pretty innovative. This is made in Korea so I'm wondering like Korea is like the epicenter of innovation so I'm just wondering if that has something to do with uh, this product having been created I think she did a good job with that this product is like a jelly creamy kind of consistency this is what it looks like you put it on dry clean skin so you want to wash your face dry it off and then use this so it looks like a gel but when you start to spread it out you will notice little balls starting to form basically out of thin air. That is why I thought it was peeling gel. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. You can see from that angle for sure. These balls appear pretty much out of nowhere. It, this is why I thought it was a peeling gel because that's what peeling gels do. But this is a little different because you can actually feel like the grain, like when you put it on and rub it out a little bit, you can feel there's like micro particles in the product. What's happening is as you're rubbing this product around, those micro particles are binding together and creating some sort of mechanical exfoliation. And it is divine. It is amazing. You see on my finger how this is just the product by itself spread thinly on my finger you can see there's little grains in there it immediately starts to ball together you know once you rub your fingers together so that's not your skin that's peeling off that's the product in a peeling gel naturally in a peeling gel that is what happens only that is really your skin mixed with the product but in this case it is just the product so i tried this i'm going to insert the clip so you guys can watch me using it my first impression and i loved it and i still love it i just wish she would make a fragrance free version because the next day i had atopic dermatitis which means this disrupted my acid mantle enough to where I got an allergic reaction physically so you can take a look right now at my first impression on this whoa what the fuck is this wow what what is this it's like okay it's way different than I thought it was gonna be like this is how a peeling gel behaves but I think in this product and maybe other peeling gels too, it's like the ingredients in here like bind together to make like teeny tiny granules. You see that? Like, oh, this fucking smells amazing. Oh my God. I don't ever, ever, ever say that as a compliment. And this is actually like it fucking feels amazing. I wonder if it's too harsh because I'm literally pressing. Usually you can put these close to your eyes. I feel like I'm pressing too hard because this is not what I thought it was. I thought this was a peeling gel completely. The particles are so like gentle, but still like I'm pressing so hard in the formula you can feel teeny tiny granules it feels like baking soda that's why i'm like is this going to be too harsh because if you've ever exfoliated with baking soda oh my god it's such a bad idea because it's so alkaline it totally throws off your barrier obsessed obsessed as long as my it doesn't irritate my skin which i guess we will see in the morning what it looks like but Oh my god, oh, my skin is soft for sure. 
Okay, so now that you saw my first reaction, love this product. I do. But um, I even said on my Instagram story that night, like after reading the ingredients, like what did I do? So I was also shocked. This has, so this has, this is a very good exfoliator that you can use multiple times a week because it has so many different types of ingredients in here that are going to exfoliate your skin from every single angle. So mechanical exfoliation, that's when something physical is on your skin like beads or salt or sugar that physically takes off the dead skin cells. Then if you go on a chemical molecular level, when you take like an acid molecule or an enzyme molecule, that actually penetrates the skin on a cellular level and exfoliates the skin. Enzymes absorb the dead proteins. Alpha hydroxy acids are water soluble so they penetrate the cell in that way and they force exfoliate dead cells and also dying cells and also promote cellular growth from the bottom so basically it's like forcing that whole cell regeneration process beta hydroxy acids are oil soluble which means they're going to penetrate your skin from a different level does that make sense? Water soluble, oil soluble, enzymes absorbing proteins, then physical exfoliation. So this is a very comprehensive product. That's why I said it's very innovative. It's also very innovative, just the, the delivery system, how it actually works. My issue is that it's irritating. Even after using this product on my skin, uh, my skin didn't look like healthy or happy. It didn't look like bright and light and shiny glowy like I expected it was kind of just like irritated a little bit irritated I was like well whatever like write it off till the next day and then you know a little bit of irritation appeared the next day and then the next day a little bit more and it pretty much peaked after day two but definitely afraid to use this again on my face but I will absolutely love it for this part of my body this product fits the criterion to be the clean, you know, clean at Sephora certification. It's $39. It has 850 reviews and 4.5 stars. 91% of people would recommend this. Inky has so many essential oils and shit in here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to list it below too, but you can see how long this is. That's the entire Inky. Ingredients, long ass ingredient list. What's cellulose? We gotta look up what cellulose is. Cellulose is the second ingredient. Okay, the cellulose could be that granular um, substance in the product. It says microcrystalline cellulose. I'm not 100% sure if that's what is in this product, but microcrystalline cellulose in skincare, it comes as a fine, or less fine white powder. Could be used as like a microfoliant. The cellulose likely is what that white powder is in the product. Bromelain is near the top, which is nice. Bromelain is pineapple enzyme. So they're putting the enzyme of the pineapple and the actual pineapple extract. Then they're also doing um, the papaya enzyme as well as the papaya extract. Okay, and then after that, citric acid, lactic acid, malic acid, salicylic acid, tartaric acid, glycolic acid. Oh, that is like so exciting. All of those acids like make me so fucking happy. If the formula would have just stopped right after or around there, but no, she puts ginger root extract in it, which I actually don't know how ginger is on the skin. I can only imagine it's a stimulating ingredient. Glycerin, that's great. Rose flower extract, don't need it. Coconut fruit extract, that is acceptable. Sweet almond oil, willow bark extract, that's also salicylic acid, I believe. Sugarcane extract, that's also glycolic. Then they've got camellia extract, which is green tea. They've got sugar maple extract, which is also glycolic. Fork tree, I don't know. Grapefruit seed extract, could have done without that. Now you get to the bottom. These are all the fragrant oils. Guava, mango, banana, passion fruit, orange, lemon, blueberry, magnolia. So it's like a combination of like those sweet ingredients with like magnolia kind of like surrounding it. And then after all of those fragrances is hyaluronic acid. So not only does this have a shitload of 
essential oils, but it also has fragrance in it. So there's my full analysis of this product. Can we make one without fragrance? That would be killer. Also, I would love this in like a pump form for my whole body. Please let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this product? Do you want to try this product? Does fragrance irritate you? Like, let me know in the comments. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it or found it useful. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.